So that's in Marion County now. And yeah, this one is now in a Marion County. It looks like it's maybe in the in the heel of uh, Jeff Davis County as well. Oh yeah, definitely. And we're getting some. Uh, looks like a little bit of uh, maybe uh, bad data or folding in here, uh, in terms of uh, the uh, the data we're getting in. Uh, but it looks like perhaps the the area of circulation has crossed over and now is in the parts of southern Jeff Davis County. Uh, so uh, wind speeds on this uh, estimated by radar here. Again, anytime we kind of get into the the, the yellows and the oranges and the, the blues, we're, we're really starting to talk about some very fierce wind. So again, even if the tornado isn't near your location, say you're uh, you know, to the south of Goss, you're probably still getting some very strong straight line wind, even though the true tornado threat is a little further off to your north and uh, north of Goss near Society Hill. It's kind of uh, in between Society Hill, Goss and Bunker Hill right now, uh, maybe kind of an equal distance between uh, those three uh, towns. Uh, those three communities. If you're living up and down 35 down the road uh, in and out of Bunker Hill, I need you to get to your safe place now. Specifically, if you live north up 35 and toward Bassfield, I need you guys to get to your safe place now. Get to that interior room. If you don't have an interior room, get into an interior hallway and just close all the doors to all the rooms. You kind of make your own interior room. Just put as many walls between you and whatever's happening uh, out there, outside, as you can. We just want to put as much stuff between you and the, the potential debris uh, that's flying through the air outside. As we head over to the CC, you can see that we do have, uh, it's messy. Uh, it is messy. It's tough. It's not the dot that we're used to seeing uh, around here, but uh, it's uh, definitely debris being lofted into the air. And this is not just a radar indicated. Uh, this is an observed tornado. So somebody has seen this thing on the ground and they're saying, yes, there is, I see a tornado. There is a tornado on the ground, and they reported that to the National Weather Service, and that is why uh, they, are, they have issued uh, this warning. This is not, and then here we go, some, yes, some definitely of the latest moved data. Yes, uh, what, Jefferson Davis County? Yeah, so now we're in the parts of Southern Jeff Davis. This is why you folks up and down 35 uh, really need you guys to take cover. Uh, Bassfield down toward Melba, uh, Carson. Uh, you guys are a little further off to the north, uh, but still you're, you're within the polygon here, so I'm going to need you guys to take cover as well. Uh, but Bassfield up and down 35, up and down 42 from Bassfield to Melba. Now, I'm also going to need you guys to take, uh, to take cover. This thing is... Uh, it is violent. It's large. It's, uh, this is going to be a very large tornado. That w when you get in and you start to see colors like this happening inside of colors like this, uh, usually that means that the, the radar is doubling back on itself and it can't actually uh, see how it, the, the wind is getting too fast for the radar colors, so they, they bend back on each other like this. Uh, and so we've got some very, very strong wind happening in here. Again, just across the county line into parts of Jeff Davis County uh, and uh, near and just off to the east of Society Hill. Uh, for you folks, again, up and down 35, up and down 35. I need you into your safe place uh, right now. Uh, I need you to take cover right now and put as much stuff between you and what's happening outside as you possibly can. Get the helmets, the pillows, the blankets, the whole nine yards with you uh, when you get to your safe place and uh, make sure you do what you can uh, to protect yourself. Uh, yeah, Rex, what do you got over here? Brandon, you take over. Yeah, they're just uh, continuing that tornado warning for Walthall until 415. Okay, thank That's you. That's Pike. I, well, we don't need water. Well, obviously, we're concerned about Pike, but we don't, don't want to cover Pike. But we're concerned about Walthall County. Yeah. And that one, again, could probably just go about exactly where that first one, a current one, is. Yeah, and, and this is what we ran into. You guys may remember that are watching at home a couple months ago when we had those, those tandem tornado-worn storms that were just pile-driving right behind each other. That was a little further off to the north uh, a couple of months ago. But uh, same idea, uh, unfortunately, uh, is that you've got two tornado-worn storms. Uh, one to the north uh, and one back off to the southwest, and they're kind of walking down the same road, so to speak. So if you were taking cover and the tornado warning ended and, and you've come out and you've turned the TV back on and you're trying to check out, is it okay for me to go outside and, and survey the damage in my yard? No. If you're living in Walthall County, if you're living in Marion County, if you're living in Lawrence County, uh, I, I need you folks to not survey stuff yet. I need you to hang tight because you've got another one on the way that's just back off to the southwest that's going to be coming through in the next 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, zooming back in here, 
Uh, and getting back to the uh, the one at hand here for you folks in Bassfield and down toward Melba in southern Jeff Davis County. Uh, need you folks to get to that safe place now. Uh, if you're just turning on the TV, if you're saying, hey, you know, it's getting kind of gnarly, the, scar the sky is getting kind of dark out there in the distance, uh, I wonder what's going on. Well, uh, we've got a, a new tornado warned storm across parts of southern Jeff Davis County. This does eventually include you folks in Covington County. This will probably include you folks in Jones County eventually as well. Um, I think the National Weather Service noting uh, that if this stays together, of course, they'll continue this. Uh, they'll continue to warn this downstream. Uh, it looks like they've got uh, new information maybe coming out. Brandon, you may be able to help me out with uh, checking out that, that latest update from the National Weather Service about where specifically this one is, as well as how fast it's traveling and, and what they're concerned about. Right, absolutely. So this is, again, from the, the National Weather Service. out of Jackson for Covington, Jefferson Davis, and, and Marion. This They're going to extend it till 445. All right, again, that's till 445. Um, and they're, they're calling this is observed tornado on the ground. All right, again, observed and the tornado threat is just catastrophic. This is nothing to play around with. This is serious. And so again, like you were saying, located near Bunker Hill or 14 miles north of Columbia, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour now. Okay, so it has, it's, it's slowed down a little bit, uh, but th those times on the screen uh, will likely hold 415, 414, excuse me, in Bassfield. Uh, 417 for you folks in Melba, you folks in Collins at 427, in Sanford at 429, Eminence by 431, and Oak Valley by 434. Again, for you folks that are just down the road from this, uh, while you folks in the warned area need to take cover now, here is your timeline. Uh, you've got it being 410 right now. You folks in Bassfield have only a couple of minutes. If you're just turning on the TV, I need you to get to that safe place now. If you're up and down uh, 35 in and out of Bassfield, particularly down to the south, I need you folks to take cover immediately. You folks in Melba have about five minutes because, uh, again, this is this is a little old data. This is about two or three minutes old. So you guys have got about five minutes. You folks in Collins have about 15 minutes. Uh, this is moving pretty quickly at 55 miles an hour. Uh, so you guys have about 15, maybe as long as 20 minutes uh, before it's on you. Uh, 429 in Sanford, Eminence and Oak Valley, you folks down the line have uh, between about uh, 18 and 25 minutes uh, before it's near you. So you don't have much time, so we need you guys to take action now. Uh, make sure that you've got all your supplies and everything with you when you head to your safe spot. That, that interior room, that interior bathroom, interior closet. Uh, I prefer that the bathroom, there tends to be a little more structure involved that, with bathrooms. It's updated. Uh, and, uh, and so, yeah, we've got uh, the update from uh, the National Weather Service in here. Uh, it tends to be uh, a little, let's clear this off. And That's yeah, the so, tornado right there. Yeah, so N we're, we're finally able to, yeah. to kind of see it just off to the south of Bassfield in here. Yeah, that's it. And there's your... There's it's just crossed 35. Yeah, there's your right in there. And again, this data, it shoots it, it gets back uh, to the National Weather Service, it gets processed and then kicked out. So this data is probably over a minute old. Uh, so I, I really, with how fast these are traveling for today, a minute ago, it was crossing over 35. That means only a minute from now, it's going to be just off to the south of Bassfield crossing over 42. So I need you folks along 42 and in and near Melba to get to your safe space now. That interior room, that interior bathroom, and that interior closet. I need you to take with you uh, the helmets if you got them, pillows and blankets. We just want to protect you from what's happening outside. Uh, so long as you're in that interior room, that's your uh, best place to be. That's the safest place to be. If you've got a storm shelter, hey, that's even better. Uh, head there now if you can. Uh, if you don't have an interior room or an interior bathroom or an interior closet, you don't have like a coat closet or something in an interior hallway, uh, make your own by just closing all the doors to that interior most uh, hallway in your house and take cover there uh, and, and do what you can uh, to stay there while whatever's happening outside passes by. And uh, they're still describing it as a large and violent tornado. Yeah, so the National Weather Service says that this is a, a life-threatening situation. That is uh, their words, uh, not ours. Um, this was once observed. Uh, they are now calling this a radar confirmed. So they had observation, mm -hmm. and now they have confirmation from the radar, from the debris being lofted up into the air, uh, saying that it would be near Collins 
around 430. So 430 near Collins. That's from uh, the National Weather Service. And again, this is pretty messy stuff in here, uh, given uh, all of this, the, the hail contamination that we're going to have for today and everything else. So it is going to be a little difficult for us at times, a lot of times, for us to ID specifically where the couplet is. We're not going to get the dot of uh, debris uh, like we normally do on our debris detector. It's going to tend to look a little messy like this. Uh, but do know that it is out there. It has been observed by somebody, uh, by a spotter or a chaser, and relayed to the National Weather Service, and that's why uh, they're concerned about uh, the tornado threat. Um, uh, so, yeah, just off to the south of Bassfield, the National Weather Service noting uh, that there's a clear RFD surge there. A large and violent tornado is imminent just south of Bassfield. Cover needs to be taken now. That's directly from the National Weather Service. Yeah, we don't make that up. That right. comes from the official folks. All right, so crossing over 42, uh, I need you folks in seminary. I need you folks in seminary. If you're living in and around seminary, if you're up and down uh, 49, if you're up and down seminary Mike Connor Road, I need you folks to take cover now. Lake Mike Connor Road, take cover now. We got uh, new information coming out from the Weather Service here. Uh, Brandon will get to that here in a second. I don't want to forget about you folks back off to the southwest across parts of northern Walthall County. That's uh, what they just warned of. And, uh, and northern uh, Marion County and southern Lawrence County. We are still watching this storm back here. Uh, for you folks up and down 583, 44, 27 in northern Walthall County, I need you folks to be in your safe place again. Again, I need you back there again. Uh, you've got another one coming down the pike. Uh, this is not the same warning again. That's not a mistake or a glitch. There is another storm that is headed your direction. Uh, and uh, this one needs to be taken just as seriously as the previous one. And those are our two storms right now as we zoom things back out. There is another one down and just off to the southwest of that that the National Weather Service has a severe thunderstorm warning on right now. Uh, this one will also need to be watched given the environment for today uh, for it to start uh, spinning and perhaps producing a tornado at some point. Uh, as we zoom things back into what's happening just off to the south and east of Bassfield crossing over 42, this is uh, something that you don't see very often down here, uh, but uh, this is folding over on itself a couple of different times, and we've got uh, a, a very violent and very strong tornado. Brandon, if you could do me a favor and ask the National Weather Service here in chat uh, how high the debris is being lofted on radar, uh, we can give people an idea about uh, how strong or potentially strong the tornado may be. And again, this isn't uh, the National Weather Service would still have to go out and double check uh, this to see uh, what, you know, what the, the final uh, stats were. But this, I want to give everyone an idea about just how uh, strong this may be. Uh, so we're going to ask the National Weather Service how high the debris is being lofted into the air on radar for you guys uh, to give you guys an idea about what to, uh, what to expect downstream. And I mentioned you folks in Jeff Davis County in you know, so we, we have a new uh, radar scan in here. It's just, it's real messy, and, and this is why we really rely on the National Weather Service uh, to, uh, to dig into the data a little bit deeper than, than we are able to here and why we trust their, uh, their judgment on a lot of these things. Western, uh, Jeff Davis County, you folks, if you're west of 35, while it is raining and thundering, you guys can rest a little easy for now. Uh, but do know that there is another tornado worn storm just off to the southwest of you. For eastern Jeff Davis County and parts of southern Covington County, you folks are still underneath the tornado warning. If you're living in Collins and south of Collins all the way down 49, 589, you pick your road south of Collins in Covington County or along and south of 84 in Covington County, I need you to take cover now and do what you can to protect yourself by putting as much stuff between you and what's happening outside as you possibly can. Uh, we, we always recommend you get to that interior room, that interior bathroom, an interior closet if you can, uh, and uh, grab the helmets and take them with you and uh, make sure that you've got uh, as much stuff protecting you from what's happening outside as uh, as, as possible. Uh, we want to we want to protect you folks uh, from what's happening out there. Do we have any word from the National Weather Service, Brandon, on on 
They, they have not responded yet, Nick. Okay. Not yet. They're probably a little busy right now. Right, uh, and, and rightfully uh, so. So uh, when you're seeing blues, there's dark blues on there, uh, by the way, folks, at home, we're talking about uh, 100 mile an hour wind, uh, as estimated by radar. And again, we're looking up pretty high in the clouds at that point. We're looking up at about uh, 3,000 feet, uh, but that's, that's at least, at least 100 mile an hour wind. Uh, when you saw the, those bright yellows a little bit earlier, uh, that was uh, somewhere between uh, 70 and 80 or 90 miles an hour. So uh, the National Weather Service is concerned about uh, this uh, large and destructive uh, tornado. This has been observed by people. This has been observed in the past. It is now radar confirmed uh, as they've been able to look into the and see we, we are, we're back to getting a debris signature that yeah, I see that definitely that clearly. is uh, meaningful. Uh, um, yeah, and they're going to issue a tornado emergency on this. A tornado emergency is going to be issued on this uh, for folks downstream across parts of Jeff Davis and Covington County. I need you folks in seminary. Seriously, I need you folks in seminary. Get to your safe place now. Now. This thing's moving at about highway speed. Uh, so it's not going to take that long to get there. Uh, in the last couple of scans, it's kind of flattened out a little bit. Uh, but I need you folks uh, south of Collins, uh, north of the county line uh, with uh, Forest and the Lamar County, I need you guys to take cover. But if you're living in and around Seminary, I need you there now. I need you to start moving now. I need you to pr protect yourself from what's happening out there now. Uh, interior bathroom, interior closet, uh, the helmets. We've said that uh, countless times. Uh, but if you're just tuning in, uh, if you're living in seminary and, and, and it's getting kind of breezy, it's raining real hard, maybe you got a little bit of hail outside and you're going, well, what's happening out here? What do I need to know? This could easily be rain wrapped. These are. And that's, thank you, Rex. That is a great point. I don't need you folks poking your head outside to see uh, if you can see it. And there's, there's your new uh, debris signature there. Uh, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see this. It's going to be rain wrapped. It's going to be hail wrapped. Uh, there's going to be uh, debris, wrapped. debris wrapped, perhaps. Uh, you've got uh, enough humidity out there uh, this afternoon and early evening uh, that we're talking. You're not going to see this thing. You're starting to get toward dusk. Plus, you're looking back towards sunset with it coming at you from kind of the uh, west southwest. You're not going to be able to see this thing. You're going to have to just trust the National Weather Service. Trust the storm spotters that are down the road from you that have said, we see this. It's nine miles southwest of Collins. OK, thank you. Moving rapidly that way, 55 miles per hour. So this, this may slide maybe just north of Seminary, uh, given the latest track, somewhere between Seminary and Collins, crossing over 49 in the next couple of minutes. And they still have this going at 55 miles an hour, Brandon and Rex, is that correct? Yeah, I think That's it correct. is. That's correct. Okay. So we just got a new scan on this. I'm going to pull this out, doing it at 55 miles an hour uh, at 431 in seminary. So you guys have less than 10 minutes. Eminence in 436, the folks at Mitchell Farms, we were out there doing our, uh, our seven on the road. 437 for you folks at Mitchell Farms. 439 Oak Bowery. I need you folks to get to your safe place now. Do what you can to protect yourself from this storm. Uh, and you can clearly see the debris in it. Yeah, and if we go back uh, to the, uh, the wind here, uh, you can also see that we've got a, a little bit of folding over again. Uh, so we've got a, a very large and destructive tornado. Nick, uh, we just found out it looks like it's debris is being lofted up to 15,000 feet. Up to 15,000 feet, thank you. Uh, so uh, that is EF2, EF3, according to the National Weather Service guidelines out of Jackson. Um, if it gets up to 18,000 feet, now just to put this into perspective, it's at 15,000. The second it gets to around 18,000, we start to talk about fours and fives. So we're currently estimating, based off of past available data, that it could be as strong as an EF2 or an EF3 on the ground right now. If that debris gets lofted up any higher, or the National Weather Service gets data back showing that they see debris any higher, then we start talking about an even stronger 
a tornado. Uh, this isn't the end all be all. We'll of course have to wait till the National Weather Service goes out there. Uh, but what I'm, I'm trying to do is paint you guys a picture of what you are going to be taking cover from and why we need you guys to take this very seriously. Uh, I, I know uh, Zach's probably got me uh, loaded up on, uh, on, the, on the green wall. Uh, if he doesn't, Zach in, uh, in TMP, uh, in production, if you could uh, do that for me. I know you're, you're quick with the, the button pressing back there, so I appreciate it. Um, and I just want to highlight a, a couple of quick things on here uh, that we're seeing. And we're going to... Area of uh, circulation is down here. You can see the debris uh, that's being lofted into the air. Down the road from this, where we're tracking this, is off to the kind of the east-northeast, or the northeast, at about 55 miles an hour. Uh, there's your, uh, your debris ball. Looks like this one is going to slide maybe just off to the north of Seminary, just off to the south of Collins. You folks in Seminary are probably dealing with some very strong wind right now and maybe a little bit of rain, but if you're just tuning in because stuff looks a little dark off in the distance, there's a tornado crossing over the county line uh, between Jeff Davis and uh, Coveting County. Uh, for you folks in, in Williamsburg and Collins, it looks like the worst of this may pass just off to your south, may, but I need you folks in your safe place as well right now. If you're living up and down 49 between Collins and Seminary, I need you folks in your safe place right now. I need you guys to do what you can to protect yourself from a potential EF2 or EF3 tornado that could be on the ground uh, just off to your uh, kind of west-southwest. The National Weather Service noting that we've got debris being lofted up 15,000 feet. At 18,000 feet, it is estimated that that is where an EF4 tornado begins. So we're probably looking at an EF3 crossing over the county line and into parts of Covington County. Fellows, do we have any new information? And there's some new data uh, from the National Weather. There's your new radar. And there, and again, remember how earlier I said there's a lot of hail contamination, so it's, it's going to be kind of difficult at times to see where this is. Uh, we no longer have hail contamination. That is the whole, that is the whole tornado right there. Uh, and it looks like it's continuing on its trek, and it's going to be just barely off to the north of Seminary. So if you're in Seminary, or if you're living just north of Seminary, I need you folks into your safe place uh, right now. I need you to do what you can uh, to protect yourself from what's happening out here. Uh, as this continues to lift off to the north and east, eventually uh, it'll cross over 49. And as we mentioned a couple minutes ago, for you folks out near Mitchell Farms, that's going to be on you guys uh, in the next little bit. I'm going to zoom in here uh, a little bit tighter and try and highlight a couple of roads on here for you folks. Uh, McDonald Chapel Road, I need you folks in Hughes Road. Cold Springs Road, Seminary to Williamsburg Road. I need all you folks to take cover immediately. Uh, if you're on Kelly Creek Road, up and down 49, Old Highway 49, as we make our way off to the north and uh, east, Watts Road, uh, we need all of you folks to do what you can to take cover now. There is a large and destructive tornado on the ground. That's, that's where it is. Uh, or where it was about a minute or two ago when we got data in from the National Weather Service. Uh, this is moving to the northeast at 55 miles an hour, very quickly off to kind of the east-northeast. Uh, COLA. And it seems to be holding up. COLA at 433. Yeah, Rex makes a good point uh, that, that the tornadoes today are not going to be down on the ground for a couple of minutes and then lift. This is not the normal situation where we say brief, weak tornado, it may be on the ground for a couple of minutes. Uh, these are going to be long track, strong tornadoes. Uh, the National Weather Service noting that with debris being lofted up 15,000 feet, spotters on the ground observing a tornado in the distance, that this is, this is not a brief and weak tornado. Uh, real quick, back down off to the south and west, uh, we still have the tornado warning in effect for northern Walthall County. I still need you folks to be in your safe place now. You can see uh, that this one is actually in extreme northern Walthall County, crossing over 44. And for you folks up and down 27 into southern Lawrence County, I need you folks in your safe place right now as well. Uh, and the National Weather Service, did I see that correctly, Brandon? Right. Yeah, they're going to continue this downstream to Jones County with a tornado. This is going to be a tornado emergency warning. Okay, so yeah, so they're continuing the tornado emergency uh, for our original warning, and this is going to be continued downstream. This is going to include you folks in Ellisville and Laurel. It looks like it's gotten stronger to me. 
Well, yeah, we, so as the, the radar has come back around, yeah, we, we still have wind in here in, in excess of, according to radar here, again, up at about two to three to 4,000 feet of 100 miles an hour. Uh, so this is a new one coming out from the Weather Service. This one is going to be uh, the, the last tornado, the, the second tornado, excuse me, right, Brandon? Correct, that's correct. Now this is going to, and also right behind that, they're issuing the tornado warning now. Like you just said, this is going to be for Jasper Jones until 530. And so that'll be continuing to those counties until 530. All right. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. Uh, so again, folks, as we uh, continue to monitor these, there we go. As we continue to monitor both of these, we now have a tornado emergency. Uh, so there's tornado watch. There's a tornado warning. And then there's a tornado emergency. The tornado emergency is only issued by the National Weather Service uh, when they're concerned about an extremely dangerous situation and a life, a truly life-threatening situation for you. Uh, so what I need you folks to do right now, if you're living up and down 49 south of Collins, north of Seminary, I need you to take cover now. If you're downstream from this, I don't need to tell you folks in Laurel and Sandersville what to do. Hey, you guys were just there a couple months ago. Ellisville. Take cover. Now get to your guys' safe place. And again, further downstream from this Heidelberg, Sandersville, yeah, you folks have some extra time. So double check and make sure that in your safe spot in your house, that interior room, that interior bathroom, and that interior closet, you got all your stuff. Make sure you got your shoes on. Uh, heaven forbid something happens and you got to get out and there's going to be debris somewhere. Uh, we don't want you to hurt yourself uh, getting out of that safe place. Make sure you got your helmet with you. Excuse me? You mean to draw a cone in there? And check? Uh, it's okay for the moment, Rex. Thank you. Uh, so uh, what I need you folks to do is take your helmet and, and do what you can to take the stuff with you that protects you from what's happening outside. Again, that's the tornado emergency, which is in effect. We'll zoom back in here in a second for you folks just off to the south of Collins, just to the north of Seminary as this continues downstream and into parts of uh, Jones County. Down off to the south and uh, west across parts of southern Lawrence, northern Walthall County. This tornado warned storm is going to be going down roughly the same track, although it looks like this one's going to slide maybe a little further off to the north of where the last one did across parts of more Lawrence and Jeff Davis County and eventually lift its way through parts of Covenant County and eventually down the road toward uh, parts of Smith County as well. So we've got uh, two different tornado warned storms right now, folks, that we need you guys to, to keep tabs on. And uh, we're going to zoom back into what's happening in Collins and Seminary as uh, this crosses over 49 right now. Uh, that, my friends, uh, crossing over 49 is, if we were to uh, make an estimation based off of radar, uh, you're talking about wind speeds up over 160 miles an hour. Look at that. You're up over 160 miles an hour. And this must be a very large tornado. This is going to be a very large, uh, very destructive tornado, and that is why the National Weather Service has issued a tornado emergency, uh, a tornado emergency uh, for you folks in Covenant County. Crossing over 49 right now, Watts Road, uh, Willow Grove Church Road, need you folks in Evergreen Church Road, Stuart Leggett Road, Mitchell Road, you folks at Mitchell Farms, if you're living up there, Providence Church Road. I need all of you folks to take cover now. We can go back to the debris and you can see that uh, we are starting to get some more maybe hail contamination in here, but there's your, there's your debris right there. This could be a, a rather long track tornado. That is a word directly from uh, the National Weather Service. They're concerned that, uh, that this one isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, there's your, your updated uh, debris right in there. Again, for you folks, a uh, Watts Road, it's on you right now. Willow Grove Road, I need you folks on Mitchell Road, uh, down the road from uh, Collins, down 84. I need you folks to take cover immediately. Uh, I need you to put as much stuff between you and what's happening outside as you possibly can. Uh, for Brandon and Rex, if you guys could do me a favor and uh, ask the National Weather Service again how high debris is being lofted, I want to double check on this uh, for folks. Uh, again, if you're up and down 588, uh, I need you to take cover as well. County Line Road, again, Mitchell Farms is on here. Uh, DeWitt Fowler Road, Mitchell Road. Basically, if you're living east of 49 and north of Seminary and out near Mitchell Farms, I need you folks to take cover immediately. There is a, 
a, a life-threatening, words from the National Weather Service, a life-threatening tornado 